Hello, kids. Wow, you all are ready with your tools. That's good. Ray, I see you've got the colorful one. And Ruby, you have the brown one with you? It doesn't matter. Both of these have the same function. So, now shall we start with our session? Great. Okay, Ray, can you tell us what did we learn in our last session? That is correct. We learned about the term abacus and where the tool is used. Starting now, we will explore different parts of the abacus tool and know its functions. Now, can someone tell me what this tool is? Ruby, do you know? The answer is, it's the teacher's tool. Very good, Ruby. The black edging that you see here is called the frame. The horizontal line that divides the tool into two parts is called the counting bar or the center bar. Now, can you see these little yellow diamonds here? Can anyone tell me what these are called? Ruby, you raised your hand first. Tell us, what are these yellow diamonds called? That is correct. These are called beads. Children, now listen carefully. The beads above the counting bar are called upper beads or heaven beads. So can you guess what the beads below the counting bar are called? Ray says that those are called lower beads. You are correct. These lower beads are also referred to as earth beads. The black columns made by the vertical bars here are called rods. Each rod has a different name and represents a different value. This one is the units rod, the one on the left is the tens rod, then we have the hundreds rod, thousands rod and so on. But the units rod is the most important one because we start our calculation on the tool from this rod. Well, you might be confused between the units, tens and the hundred rod, right? I do have a trick for you to identify the units rod. Here is the drill. Can you see these dots on the counting bar? These are known as points. And this point, which is exactly in the middle of the tool, is the nose of the tool. It is better known as the center point, which also represents the unit's rod. So, now you know how to identify the unit's rod. In our upcoming session, we will learn how to hold the abacus tool and move the beads to do the calculations. I'll see you there.